Hello again and welcome back to the virtualinstructor.com. This is a video tutorial on how to create metallic looking text. We're going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS4 for this. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new file uh, and this option pops up. I'm going to change pi pixels to inches. Um, we're going to change this to 10 inches because we want a more horizontal image. I'm going to change my height to 5 inches. Uh, normally I would keep resolution at 300, uh, but for this demonstration I'm going to keep it at 100 pixels per inch. The higher this number, the sharper the image. Click OK, and we've got our image that pops up. Okay, this is our picture plane. We're going to be dealing with text today, so I'm going to go ahead and select the text tool. Some options are up here for our text. Uh, the first option is our font name. We're going to stick with impact, although there's a variety of different choices. Um, different fonts have different options regarding this. Um, impact, however, is just regular, but some have bold, italics, and so on. Our font size is right here, 60 points going to be fine. Um, registration is up here too, left, middle, or right. Um, this um, is the color of our text. A lot of people mistake this down here as being the text color, but actually this is your text color. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a place where I want my text to be and I'll just click once and uh, let my cursor come up. A lot of people like to pull it out and create a text box. For what we're doing here, text box is not going to be very practical. So we're just going to go ahead and click once and then we're going to type uh, metallic. Uh, this is going to be a metallic looking text. So metallic is an appropriate, sentence, or appropriate word. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and transform that. So I'll go up to edit. I'll select transform and scale. And I'm going to scale this to make it a little bit larger. Um, so it'll pit, fill up my picture plane a little bit more. Double click inside of that transform when it's done. Um, a lot of my students try to click right in the dead center. You don't have to click right in the dead center just somewhere inside of that box and your transform will be applied. Um, now what I want to do is I'm going to do some layer effects. So I can hit uh, F7 or I can go up here to Windows, Window and select Layers. F7 is the, the, the shortcut and then my layers come up. Right now you have a background and you have a text layer. Every time you use the text tool it creates a brand new layer. That's important to know. Um, so we've got a text layer here. It's a metallic. Um, it's got a word that we, we typed on there. Now down here at the bottom of your layer menu, you've got several different options. Um, this is the option you want to worry about right now, the FX. I like to think of it as the layer FX, like FX. Um, but, if you, but if you ask Adobe, these are, are called layer styles now. So we'll, we'll call it a layer style. And I'll just click on that, and these options come up. Okay. Uh, we're going to be using a layer style called a gradient overlay, but before we do that, we need to pick the two colors we want in our gradient. Uh, to do that, we'll go over here to the toolbar, and we're going to select a foreground color that, we're going to make this look like gold, so I'm going to select a lighter yellow that could be used as gold. Click OK. And then for our background color, well, I like the color we've got chosen here already. Uh, but I'll go ahead and bring that up and so you can see how that works and I'll just pick that darker gold. Um, so you want a lighter lighter value and then a darker value, okay? But you can really pick whatever colors you want. Um, then I'll go back over here to the layer effects or the layer styles and I'll click on that and bring up my um, my options again and I apologize my computer's running a little slow tonight um, and I'm gonna click on gradient overlay and immediately you'll see something happens to the text okay that's not necessarily what we want to happen so in this little layer style menu that comes up we can change things first thing we're gonna change is the actual gradient we don't want it black to white instead we want the two colors we chose so I'll click on that immediately our text has changed okay um, also, we don't want a linear gradient. Instead, we want a reflected gradient. So I'll select re reflected, and you can see what happens with that. All right, now that we've got this layer style menu up, we can see we can do all the different layer styles that are available. Well, we're going to do a couple more to this. The first thing we're going to do is bevel and boss. 
don't click in the box but click on the text and double click on the text and your bevel and emboss options come up. As soon as I click that you can see something happened to our metallic word over here. It got a little bit of a shadow and it looks a little more three-dimensional. We're going to go for an inner bevel here although there are different options for what type of bevel you could use. Um, the technique we want is not smooth. Instead we want chisel hard. Now when we choose that not much changes. Um, changes a little bit but not much much. The depth is just going to affect the strength of your shadow basically. Um, and underneath that this is where you're going to really see something happen here. When we move the size in one direction you can really see how um, our, our word has changed. Okay, It really looks like it's metal, a little bit more like it's metal at least, and it really looks three-dimensional. Okay, Now underneath shading there's a lot of exciting stuff that happens under here you can change the direction of your light source um, so that uh, that angle up there is really the angle of your lighting and when you move that around all kinds of stuff happens to your words um, now the gloss contour is real important in making this look like a shiny metal um, you can try all these little different shapes and and see how it affects the the contour or the gloss of the object um, double humps for me works works really great for this and when I click that you can see it looks really metallic another one that works pretty good is is this option okay that one's a little too dark for me so I'm gonna stick with the the double humps I'm gonna call them the double humps um, then I'll click off of that uh, highlight mode screen is fine shadow mode multiply is fine all that stuff is fine but we do want to click the contour button uh, the contour is just gonna increase the shine a little bit and tell the computer that we do want to mimic the, the contour of, of the word itself. All right, um, so we're going to come back to this menu in a minute, but right now just click OK. And we've got our metallic word. It's on, obviously on a white background right now, and we want to make it stand out a little bit more, so we're going to put it on a black background. To do that, I'm going to create a new layer. So I'll go down in my layer menu, and I'll select the Create a New Layer option and there it is layer one popped up there um, now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna paint that completely uh, a black so it stands out a little bit more so I'll select the black color and click OK and I'll go over to the paint bucket and go ahead and cover it all black alright I uh, don't panic when this happens because all you have to do is go over to your layer menu and pull layer one behind your text layer okay just like that um, not sure if I got it let's try that again there we go pull it down there there we go and then your metallic words stand out even more um, so to make them even a higher contrast we're gonna add another layer effect or another layer style so I'll double click on the effects and our menu pops back up. Now the one we're going to add right now is called Outer Glow. So I'm going to double click on Outer Glow and you can see this is the color of our Outer Glow. We're going to uh, click on that and we're going to choose a different color. Um, we're going to choose it from the color picker. And I'm going to actually choose a white for that so it's a little clear. Click OK. And then I'm going to increase the size underneath the elements and you can really see what happens when you do that. Um, that looks pretty good. So we'll click OK. And then you have now created uh, metallic text using Adobe Photoshop CS4. Hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial brought to you by the virtualinstructor.com.